three simple but effective exits for your trend trading. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Everyone talks about entries, but exits are most underestimated, but they're even more important. Your entry isn't that decisive. Of course, it's good to catch the trend first to get the most of the trending movement. But what's even more important is the exit. Because without an exit, you can't cash in your profits. And of course, you can lose a lot of money if the market turns into the wrong direction. So let's take a closer look at a few examples. Right here, we see a beautiful downwards trend we have here. Accumulation, distribution, accumulation, distribution. But then right here at the bottom, we see some candles with really long wicks. I will zoom in a little bit. Zoomed in, we get a closer look at the candles. And here we see those two candles with the really long wicks. And there they are showing us that the bears are losing power. There's volume going out of the market and a situation of indecision is building here. The first one here, you see the green one is even a hammer candle, a small body and the wick is at least twice as long as the body is. And the second one, of course, has a long wick as well. So for all short traders, this is the situation that tells us pay attention. This is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. The power is going out of the market here. So the market might reverse. We either save up our positions, move the stop loss so you can't give away the profits you've made so far. Or if you want a clear exit scenario, this is the situation that gives you the first indication and then the big green candle afterwards is showing that the volume is coming into the market. The bulls are trying to take over. So this is the confirmation that some might wait for before they exit the short trade. So in the end, this situation is for those who want to start a new trade into the long direction is a good entry, but as the same also the signal for the ones who were trading short to exit the trade as well. So you see there is not a really big difference. It's, it's definitely the same because we read the same market and the market gives the same signals for each trader. So the exit scenario for the short traders here is the entry scenario for the long traders here. So let's take a look at scenario number two. And since we're already here in the market, if we would have traded the long trade here, some may have entered the market right down here when we had the bullish reversal candlestick patterns, first the hammer, after that here, the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. Some may have traded the breakout out of this indecision zone. Doesn't really matter for all who are in this long trade, right in this situation. Of course, mostly have made their entry on a lower time frame, but this higher time frame gives us a better overview over what is happening. And we see after this beautiful upwards movement, this candle right here. Some may refer to it as a spinning top candlestick or some may see it as a doji candle, but what both have in common is they signal indecision in the market. You see it has a long wick up and a wick down, but it closes right at the area where it has opened. So the market doesn't have volume into a specific direction. At this point, the bulls and bears are even. And this is a signal to be cautious again for the Traders who are in the market right here trading long, this is the situation where they should save up their positions again or even get out of the trade because they have made some nice profits so far. Because there is an additional argument also, because what you see here is we are in an area of support and resistance. So there's a high possibility that the market bounces off this area. It's not only that for those who haven't gotten out of the market yet, there is now also building this bearish angle for candlestick pattern. So this is the last moment where everybody should recognize that the market is in this situation reversing. We don't know, of course, if it's continuing in the downwards trend or if it's just doing a short pullback and then continuing long. But what we know is that we don't continue this upwards movement right at this point. So again, like before in this example down here, the argument that is an exit for the long traders here is again the same argument for a possible entry for traders who want to catch the short movement that is coming here. And what we see again is trading is not really magic. We just have to see what the market is showing us. 
we have to pay attention what the market is doing and the price action tells us what is happening. So now let's continue, make a last, a third example. Therefore, we switch now the market to British pound US dollar on the daily chart again, because this is where we want to do our overall analysis. Here we get the whole picture where we can transfer best from this time frame to the lower ones. What is going on on the markets at the moment, which is the overall direction. Of course, as a trend trader, we probably don't choose an entry at the daily time frame. We go to a lower time frame to enter the trade. But what is recommendable is always to take a, pick, a look at the daily time frame, because of course, in this area, you see the market move like this. So in waves, of course, like it always does. But it always is recommendable not to trade the reversals, especially for beginners. Of course, it's always depending on your strategy. But for beginners, I would always recommend to do the trending movement to take long trades within this area and not to trade the pullbacks because, of course, you can catch the longer movements and the bigger profits if you trade into the trending direction. So if you're in the trending direction in the market, you're in a long trade right at this point. But what is happening then? Right up here, we see another candlestick pattern. This big green candle is followed by a doji candle and this dojo candle is followed by a big red one. Some know it as the evening star candle. Some might refer to it as the abandoned baby, but it doesn't really matter what you call it. What is really important is what it tells you. So we see the ongoing movement, but then the volume is going again out of the market. We have this moment of indecision, which tells us this doji candle. And always remember, this is a whole day. So a daily chart that we're looking at. And after this indecision in the market, we have a reversal candle, a big red candle, which is gaining a lot of volume against the trending direction. So this situation signals ag again, attention traders. If you want to catch the market right at the highest point, you might exit the trade here. But of course, you can still stay in the trade and just move your stop loss, save your positions your profits that you have made so far and see if the trade is continuing further after the pullback. But later on, we see again this pattern like here. As soon as the market tries to make a new high high, there is a pullback candle again, a strong reversing candle, a big red one again with big momentum into the short direction. So the market really bounces off strongly from this new high position. And this is also repeating right at this point, right here, same picture like before. So this tells us that the market is not really ready to go through this area. The bulls are not strong enough to take over at this point. So this situation shows us we should exit our trade here if we haven't done so. At this point, it's definitely better to exit and to find a new entry later on after the pullback, for example, if the market decides to go further along. Or otherwise, of course, if the market reverses, you can also look for an entry shot. But in this case, as the market is moving into a sideways range, you can, of course, also trade the breakout of this range later on. This is not topic of this video. We have had our exit right here and you see how powerful price action is for us traders. So always pay attention to what the market is doing and what it, the market is telling you then you are well prepared for good trades with good entries and of course, good exits. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do so, please don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. See you next week with the next video. Bye bye.